Hello fellow YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Maximus 5G motherboard by ASUS or ASUS. Um, now, first I'm going to show you the outside of the box, then we're going to open it and see what's inside. I haven't opened it yet, um, so let's hope the motherboard is in there. Um, so outside, inside, I'm going to do some beauty shots um, of the motherboard and then I'm going to talk about why did I purchase it, okay? So if you like to fast forward the video, click on the links there. And yep, I'll see you in that chapter. So, unboxing. Right, um, outside of the case, you can pause it there. I'm just gonna go quickly through the sides. I have actually very nice texture. I don't know if I'd be able to somehow show it to you guys but it has a very nice feel all right these are the shots of your case um the front and there's always too much information on the back so the cpu supports for lga1155 sandy bridge ivy bridge and whatnot bridge chipset intel z77 memory up to 2666 32 gigabyte all right uh that's quite staggering guys um okay we're gonna go with the unboxing i'm not gonna bore you to death with the what's on the box inside just a quick peek there so uh and the Advertisement about the Supreme FX audio, which I'm very interested to see how it looks like. So, inside we have, as usual, our protective cover, which is a bastard to get out. There we go. No, no, okay. You have Do Not Disturb logo, which is quite cool. Um, SLI bridge, black SLI bridge, I should say. Republic of Gamers. Come on. Sorry for focusing issues. I uh, just had to automatic focus for the ease of it. ROG USB cable is basically just a standard USB cable to connect between two ROG capable computers or motherboards to transfer settings and stuff like that. Six SATA cables. Um. I.O. shield, quite nice, black, then all the labels you should need to label your cables, like so, okay, labels for cables, these are your little helpers to connect the case cables to the motherboard. Maximus Gene user guide and the drivers that are probably out of date already. So make sure to download the latest one from the manufacturer's website. Your sticker for the case. That's definitely going on the case as well. Quick user's guide. Quick start guide, sorry. As if we're going to read that. And now guys, I don't know what this is. As in how useful it is to me. But that's your... Mini PCI Express, you can do, you can plug in wireless, or you can put in your M SATA drive, which is your SSD um, drive to speed up the system or just to put your OS into it. Okay, so sorry to keep you guys waiting. The motherboard itself. Um, okay. I don't really like dodging motherboards because then it leaves smudges and fingerprints and whatnot that later will attract dust in unwanted places on the motherboard. Oh, sorry. So that's your board, guys. Um, I have two PCI Express's 16x slots. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they work in 8x and 8x. Um, PCI Express 3.0, which is equals to 16x and 16x your PCI Express 2.0 speed. 
so that's plenty for pretty much any SLI. Uh, this is your separation for the audio. Now we're going to see how it works, but I can see pretty nice amount there of caps, so that should be nice. Um, start reset button for those working on the bench and overclocking. That's just the fan for this south bridge. Sorry, fan uh, heatsink. Okay, sorry about that. Your four slots for RAM supports up to 2666, I think, or whatever it was on the box. Uh, 32 gigs, so plenty of room for overclocking if your RAM supports that. Power connection, power connection. Plenty of faces. Okay, so plenty of overclocking capability. Yeah, what else? Oh, what I like is this bit over there. If this camera can zoom into it, okay. Previous generation, which is, I mean, Maximus 4 gene, I think it was called, for the Z68, it had a sticker on it, which I absolutely hated, uh, to the point where I simply didn't use that motherboard because it seemed very cheap here you have a metal case um, now underneath is probably some real tech chip or whatever chip they are using um, so it's a software emulated I think Supreme um, FX audio but still caps should provide some extra boost um, and for higher things there you go we can pause it there have a look at what is there that is your M Satcher and the Mini PCI Express or whatever it's called connection for that extra card. Now one thing you might be interested in, which I was, so how does it connect that board and then you put on IO shield and whatnot? Well pretty simple. That's how your shield will go. Okay. There you have two holes already out. So when you're going to connect this card over there, if it's wireless, it's going to be two cables, they're going to go through all those two holes. So you're not going to see the whole card for that, you're just going to take the cables out and that's it. Okay, on the back of the motherboard, the usual metal plate and screws to support your fix things on the other side which is nice on cheaper motherboards you would have only kind of clip on things so that's it guys uh, sorry that's my phone for those who are not interested in why did I purchase this board the video is pretty much over so thanks for watching if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe and if you didn't let me know why did you not can I improve a bit on the videos maybe or do you have any questions that I might have answers for and have a nice day Okay guys, so instead of rattling away and just talking about the motherboard without showing you the BIOS or anything, I've decided to boot it up quickly and show it to you what it looks like. So, okay, uh, there's your Extreme Trico menu. I hope you guys can read the menus there. You can do all sorts of things there with the RAM and CPU frequency. I'm not overclocking yet as you can see, I'm just running it at the stock speeds. Just enable the XMP profile on the top there. Let's see if I can go back. As you see you can use the mouse, as on most of the graphic biases these days. So there we go, profile overclock tuner, XMP, that's all I'm doing at the moment. That's the virus information, it's updated at the moment, and the CPU is running at the standard speed. 16 gigs of RAM, everything working fine. 
advanced, you have a CPU configuration, you have the precision time and whatever else, smart connect and rapid start, haven't tried those just yet. SATA configuration, which is your standard, um, graphics and all these things, USB, onboard devices, APM, network stack. Okay, monitor as well, so voltage monitor, monitor's okay. Temperature monitor, fine. Fan speed monitor, um, I see it shows fine. Just a quick tip, uh, in this fan speed control, I've disabled everything there and that allowed my front fan um, in this particular case to be quiet and I can control it the way I want. So I can increase the speed there with the switch on the side. When it was set to the enabled, um, I couldn't control it properly. It sometimes it just wouldn't work, so just left it at disabled. Might help you out as well. And yeah, that's your boot options. And your update utility and things like that. And that's all, guys. So what do I think about the motherboard? It's nice, um, nothing extraordinary. Now, I got it for the very reasonable price, so I thought to myself, why not? After all, it's a Republic of Gamers product, so can't go wrong. And yeah, so far so good, I like it. I didn't overclock with it yet. Um, I just like the, the look and feel of it. It's very stable, caused me no issues whatsoever, ex except for the little fan, uh, fan gimmick. But uh, that can be easily fixed. And yeah, so if you have any questions, leave them at the comment section down below. If you like the video, uh, click thumbs up. And if you want, you can share it and, as mentioned, already comment on it. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.